Good afternoon. This is Crackers Crazy Living. It is Saturday, almost five after three already, and this day has gone by pretty quickly. Um, I'm coming on here. I wanted to show you this um, antique um, card catalog that I purchased um, about a month ago now up in... Um, Tarpon Springs. Um, I, I really, my goal was to put it on my kitchen table and be able to store all of my tools and such for my cake decorating. Um, two of these racks that had um, all these little basket things in it with all my tools and everything in it and I'm, I'm trying desperately to get my apartment back together after um, and um, I have a whole new kitchen now it's just everything is a mess because I'm still trying to unpack boxes figure out uh, where I'm putting stuff and it's been a very long process so um, I still got stuff I don't know where to stack <laughs> so I want to real quick Quick, like show you what I've done with this and uh, how I have organized inside of it I'm pretty excited about it um, just trying my best to try to organize all my garbage all my junk but you know when you're a cake decorator and you have um, I didn't realize this one was so much lighter than the rest of them Kind of looks weird. Maybe I'll put that in this. I don't know. Um, anyway, I got this card catalog. It's an antique card catalog. It's all made of wood. And I took and cleaned out the inside of each drawer. And if you know what a card catalog looks like, it's got that little... Um, it's got this little thing in the back that slides forward. So you can put the index cards in there. You know, these were made for libraries um, so I have taken and I have taken the drawers and I took them out I've cleaned them I've lined them with some uh, I had some leftover shelf lining that was um, um, pioneer woman and so I lined my drawers I ran out I had scraps too and I ran out so I had to do some gray but that's okay because you don't really see it. So, so here's drawer number one. I did my all my cake spatulas and spreaders and stuff in there. And then I've got um, just miscellaneous items. I've got my um, stuff for my fondant work and my, all my brushes in here. And you know these are go on your fondant rollers and. And these little doodads go on your uh, piping bags to close your piping bags so your frosting don't squirt out since I always overload my piping bags. This drawer has some different kinds of tips in it, some smaller tips, some bigger tips. Um, there's more space for other things as well. This one houses all my Russian tips. Then over here, I have um, more fondant, kind of fondant tools. Here's some scrapers, and this is a dripper tool to drip um, candy melt onto things. I've got my wire cutters in there. I've got wire, uh, different things for fondant work. Here I've got all my cutters, all my little cutters, and um, these are for making clouds. These are like little cutter plunger cutters. So that is, everything fits in here pretty nicely. And if I have tall items, that fits as well. This is another miscellaneous kind of a drawer. I got tools in here. I've got couplers. I've got some bags back here, piping bags. Here's more Russian tips. I 
put in that one. Going back over here, I have um, little jars of sprinkles, candies. I got to get a whole other thing for sprinkles and candies unless I try to find some more of these kind of things that are empty because the, they might would fit in here if I transferred stuff. Then d this drawer I have more fondant things. These are like fondant cutters for edging your cakes. You're making pretty designs. These are this is my rose cutter. You various sizes of that and you make roses with it. So I got all the kind of tools in there. More cutters in the back. I'm making fondant signs. Here I have all my uh, luster dust and my um, my edible markers back here and here I have various dyes I've got this is like a black sparkle I've got bigger bottles of stuff this is white this is blue and this is green I had when I had a big job and I needed specific colors I had to order um, specific colors like that from Amazon and then I've got these little tubes of color and a brand new box of color that the whole box just fits right in there perfectly I can't believe that and then over here I have all my Wilton color paste and um, other little bottles of color that I can mix mix and match and that goes all, all the way back and as I use these then I'll just not replenish them because I have enjoyed using these. So once these are used up and pretty much gone, that's going to be it for those. So that is that. I had some stuff that did not fit uh, in this thing. So I'm just going to probably on the top here, I'm going to get a three or four stackable drawer um, to put my piping bags in, to put some other stuff in there that wouldn't fit in this but I think this was worked out pretty nicely for what I was hoping it would work for I kind of enjoy having everything more organized and then I can get eventually I can get rid of this rack and the other rack because it just takes up too much room in the kitchen so it's pretty much what I've been working on today and um, I just wanted to take a minute and, and show you how I organized that because I think it looks pretty nice and then I um, be able to keep all my stuff in one space and I'm going to here to slide down in um, in the racks there's a space you can slide a card little card down there I'm gonna make a label of some kind on cardstock and just slide it down in there so I don't have to open every drawer to see what's in it I can just put you know, Russian tips here, more Russian tips, very miscellaneous tips, stuff like that. But I can uh, keep it all nicely organized. I put color paste and then I put color on this one. I put luster dust on that label, cutters and fondant tools on that. So, so I'll have it all organized and I'll be able to find everything as I as I'm working on it as I tend to when I'm working on a project I tend to pull all kinds of stuff out and then I gotta put it all back but at least I can pull it out fairly easily and be able to find things and um, that'll work really good and then be able to have both thing up here um, with my pastry bags in there and whatever other tools that I have that won't fit in there so that's about all I have for you today I just wanted to take a moment to do that um, thanks so much for joining and I'll catch up with you next time on, on project for crackers crazy 11 have a great day thanks bye